flick. I am ready for a good beer, man. Tonight has been a disaster for reviewing. And phones. And phones. God damn it, John. Uh, yeah, well, we won't even really lead with anything else other than this is a new beer review and a new opportunity to share a great beer with great friends. So this beer was sent to us as a... Like a wedding box porch bomb from Casey and Ryan, who stated they did not want anything back. You're getting something back. Um, don't know what yet, but darkness probably. Uh, uh, this is Hair of the Dog. This is a brewery we've had very few beers from. We had one. We had like a Doggy four claws. or five-year-old bottle. Doggy Claws. Mm-hmm. Timmy brought that. But this is Fred from the Wood, the 2013 vintage. And I don't know when they release, if they release their prior vintage the following year <clears throat> how they do things but it comes in a nice little 12 ounce bottle let's it's, do most of those yep they're bottle conditioned many of them get the misnomer of being flat ale if you will um they're not carbonated too great so let's hope that isn't the case with this bottle uh this is an american strong ale as i believe it to be uh conditioned for six months of new american oak barrels uh 10 hop varieties i'm told that's what the interweb said yeah. yep so I, I don't know. I These these guys used to be uh, a lot of, like, that West Coast. That is definitely not flat. That West Coast hype where, you know, you wanted a oat-conditioned strong ale or barley wine, and this is what you went after. And kind of... No, no floaties. But, yeah. Um, 10% alcohol by volume. This pours out a really, really murky... Like, um, red. Cherry brownish. Yep. Flanders, almost. It looks like a Flanders. Um, really, really cloudy. Yours actually looks a little bit better. I, I definitely got dregs. Um, didn't think about that as I was pouring. It's, but, only, uh, it's the very last sentence there, Eric. Yeah, I know. Eric only reads the top half of descriptions. Sometimes. Uh, Big-ass alcohol eggs for days. Uh, quite quite carbonated, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, a fair amount. Um, yeah, wow. Legs forever. So, well, let's dive into the nose. I don't really know what else to say about these guys. I haven't had much from them, but... Um, smells like a really, really hoppy strong ale sent into oak barrels. Like, I'm sorry, that's super boring, but... Hops and oak, man. Hops and oak and caramel toffee notes. But really, really just, like, musty, earthy, wet, hoppy character. Uh, it doesn't smell really like much of anything other than that. I would call this a simple nose. Yep, pretty one, one note. Um, I don't really get any, like, complexity, like, uh, <clears throat> cherry notes. I don't get any, uh, oak char. I don't get any vanilla. I, no, if you even told me note. this didn't spend any time in oak, I believe you. Um, I don't get really tobacco. <clears throat> I don't get any Maduro wrapper. This is sure. more reminiscent for me of things aged on oak yep. instead of in oak. Yep, like oak chips or staves. Um, it smells fine. Let's taste it. Cheers. It's two years old. It should be awesome. Tastes a little better. A lot of vanilla. Yep. A lot, a lot. Big ass vanilla barrel notes. Um, chewy vanilla. Some like cherry maraschino cherry flesh that's been like soaked kind of in, um, um, like a really fine brandy. Not that you get like pronounced brandy notes, but some of those darker fruits. This is a good one. This is a fireside cognac glass yep. kind of one. Probably should have been poured in a snifter. The sidecar. Um, it's good. It's great. Oh. It's really thin in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, Borderline spritzy. Like if you told me this was fucking pre-carbonated with a soda stream, I'd believe you. <laughs> it's really freaking bubbly. And hey, maybe because they got so many years of complaints of flat beer, they finally upped their carb. If you give it two years, it should make the carb oh, go up too. Just putrid in there. Yeast for days. Mm-hmm. Well, well, why do you bother? Uh, you know, this is good. How much do these sell for? I think they go for a little like bit, 10 don't they? Bucks. 
So okay. we'll call that a re 12 ounce level. Yeah, it's not on the flavor level, though. Would you take... Oh, we'll pay about $5 here. for that. Pieces of the Grand Cru, Samuel the Old Ale. Those are all like 10 Would you take two-year-old Samuel or two-year-old Fred from the Wood? To be fair, Samuel is not 10%. It's like 18 <laughs> Uh, it just continues the night of not really terribly impressive beers. This isn't awful, though. No, this is like a low B for me. Like, I would totally. I would buy never some trade for these. this. I actually don't even see very much Fred. I see Adam a lot, and then I yeah, see and some I see Cherry, Adam. Cherry Adam from the yeah. Wood, yeah. Um, I don't know. The uh, American Strong Ale is a category. Uh, it's love and hate for me. Um,. There isn't really too much in between, and then you get into the oak age or barrel age, for that matter, and they're either phenomenal or they're just pretty forgettable. I don't know, man. I really wanted to be positive tonight. This is I. Right. Um, I don't. It's this isn't bad. All right, it's just not like knock you on your ass good. Nope. I would say this is an eighty-three. Pretty well made. I would have gone like an eighty-six. Okay. I would say, yeah, it's some solid B-level work. Um, like, we'll finish our glasses. We're not upset about it. Um, Definitely not. It was if we saw me. it and it was like we had to buy it. This would sit on Minnesota shelves forever. And then I might buy one. Yep. This would be, I might buy like one a year. This that's would be it. sold at a seller sale. That's where these would get gobbled up. When Blue Max Jim drops freaking eight in a row of these and somebody comes and buys a whole vertical. Heritage Beer Geek Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Stuff buy, like that. Buy eight for a hundred. This isn't something people are going to rush out when it drops on Twitter to get. Just not. So you're uh, going to call it... Yeah, we'll call it an 85 so, B. So around here in terms of this flying off the shelves, you're talking Boulevard Smokestack Series yep. style. Yep, which just hangs for days. Which is fine because I love those beers. Uh, not much else to be said other than thank you, Casey and Ryan, for sending this over. It's, it's really, really fun to try. Um, this is the best guess, beer we've had so far. Yeah. It's really not in great company to compare to, though, to be fair. Yeah, they're not people watching this. <clears> well, football. we're going to go watch some football. Football. Because fantasy football playoffs are on the line. Yep, and I'm so, playing Eric in one of them. I'm going to lose. He's going to lose. Go Megatron. I have Matt Stafford. 